Hey guys, it's Tony. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. So today's gonna be a quick video. I'm just gonna give you guys my two week update on these big knotless braids that I got. Um, I posted a video about two weeks ago, maybe a little longer than two weeks ago on my initial review with this hair. So if you do wanna see that, um, I will put a card above for you to look at that video. I spoke about what hair I use, how many packs of hair I use, so if you want to know that information you can definitely click that link and go watch that video to figure that out today i'm just going to tell you guys my experience over the last two weeks well it's actually been like two weeks and three days i would have done the video sooner but it was memorial day weekend and even though it's quarantine somehow i was a little busy plus my skin started acting up so i was like okay no let me give this a rest but um i'm here now so and i do plan on keeping the braids in for maybe like another week and a half two weeks so hopefully they last that long again this hair was not done professionally my sister did these braids for me and she's not a professional this was her first time doing them on a human because she practiced like on a mannequin so do keep that in mind but um so far i'm loving these braids they are starting to fray i don't know if fray is the word but my hair is starting to stick out of the braids some um let me get close so you guys can see like my hair or it could be the braiding hair too but whatever the case is like the hair is starting to stick out of the braids which is fine it doesn't look crazy but they have been holding up um i've been going for jogs a lot lately so please do keep that in mind i've been jogging like four or five miles a day four or five times a week so keep that in mind when you're looking at the hair and it like <laughs> being all frizzy at the top like i have been working out every single day in this hair um it does get itchy like right after my run because of the sweat in my scalp but i know that it's because of that so i do think that this hair is itch free because with the um expressions hair that i used with my small knotless braids i feel like my hair was itching a lot and i didn't find that it was from sweat i feel like it was just the hair i feel like i might have been a little allergic to it yeah with this hair i didn't experience any itching unless it was after my running and i knew that was from the sweat sitting on my scalp of course with the bigger braids you know they get older quicker as opposed to the small knotless braids because i did a video with my small knotless braids when i was like three weeks in and they still looked so good so again the smaller the braid of course the longer the um hairstyle is gonna last and of course the easier it'll be for the hair to stay inside of the braid i have not washed these braids at all because i'm very afraid because it's a lot of my hair exposed and i don't know if it's going to puff up because i am natural so i don't know if that's gonna happen if the braids were smaller like with my small knowledge braids i had no issue washing them because the braids were very small i didn't really worry too much about my natural hair puffing up but because so much of my natural hair is exposed as you can see very big parts um i can't i wasn't taking that chance and i'm only gonna have these in for like four weeks so i figure i could wait the four weeks before i wash my hair as far as maintaining the braids um when i just start to see that my hair was you know becoming a little frizzy at the top i would take some mousse and this is the mousse that i use the um a lot of body mousse with coconut and um shea oils this is the mousse that i've been using i'll just spray some of this on top of my head and then i'll take some of my uh knee braid conditioning shining gel and i'll just like rub it down on the braid some and i'll take my scarf and hold it down i'll probably sleep with it like that or if i'm about to step outside i'll just put this on for like 10 minutes and it'll mostly be flat also i use my janome oil my uh, janome essential hair and scalp oil i've only used this once i'm not really a fan of putting too much product on my braids because build up will happen and it'll start right here and you'll be able to see it so i don't want too much build up i've used this once um and i love this oil a lot so that has been my um, maintenance mechanism with these braids. In my pros and cons and maintenance video for my small knotless braids, which I'll also link right here, I um I showed how I wrapped my hair at night and what I did to take a shower, and I still use those same methods. So if you guys want to see how I wrap my hair at night, which is a really, really good method, I recommend everybody going to see that. 
and how I take a shower. You guys can look at that video. It's towards the very end of the video where I show you guys. So I'm still wrapping my hair and protecting my hair the same way when I get in the shower. If you guys do want to see the length of my braids as well, I did stand up and show you guys the length of my braids in my initial review video. I do want to show you guys my ends. I feel like... <laughs> They did get a little straighter from um, the first video. In the first video, I showed you guys that my ends were just, I don't know. They're just not fully straight like they should be. But um, I feel like they got a little straighter. Still kind of all over the place a little bit, but completely fine by me. Also, my um, baby hairs have come out a little more or my short hairs in the front. So I'll just take um, any gel that I have, some got to be gel, and I'll gel them down and put a scarf in the front of my head and hold them down that way other than that i've really been having fun with these braids these braids are super pretty i'm a fan of the big braids they don't last as long but i'm a fan i feel like they um pull on my roots less than the smaller braids and when i say pull i don't mean like tension because knotless braids they don't come with tension that was the big point that i made in my pros and cons video but when i say pull if you think about it, a small braid only has what? Plus, I'm just gonna speak hypothetically. A small braid only has about 15 strands in it, right? With a long braid. And my braids are really long down to like underneath my butt. So think about 10 strands trying to support that long braid versus 100 strands trying to support a long braid. You, you following? You feeling me? <laughs> so that's what I mean when I say like it pulls less. Like I feel like it's less stress on my roots and my hair especially in the front because my hair is a lot weaker in the front so i'm rocking with the big braids when it comes to that i'm starting to think that braids is my look well i'm not really sure yet <laughs> but um i really really love these braids super convenient slow maintenance sleeping at night is easy for me taking a shower is easy for me i'm not really sure if i'm missing anything so if you guys have any questions please leave them down below i do answer all questions because i know that with these braids comes lots of questions and i'm here so um yeah guys this will probably be my last video about these braids unless i see a need to do a four week review that's if anybody wants that i don't know if anybody really wants a four week review again if you have any questions leave them down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one Mwah.